So I'm just going to go ahead and let the trailer roll in case you haven't seen it yet, but if you've already seen the trailer for this movie crossover, go ahead and skip here and I'll give you my reaction. This is definitely the place. So it seems as if we're going to get a pretty simple crossover quest with the Monster Hunter movie. I'm sure we'll be able to get the dual blades that Mila uses in the movie, which honestly look pretty dope, so I'm not disappointed by that. We'll also most likely get a full layered armor of Mila herself, which I'll pass on, but still, I mean, more layered is more layered. I get why they're doing it, and we all pretty much assumed it was going to happen, so here we are. The crossover we all needed. Seriously though, it'll probably be a simple Black Diablos quest, probably not even tempered, and maybe a Rathalos sprinkled in there since we know it's in the movie for sure. But that's about all there is to it. But I guess we'll see on December 4th. Yay for content, right? But that's gonna be it for this one. I'm sure we're all hyped for this for many reasons. If you liked this quick video, feel free to hit that like button. Comment down below what your thoughts are on the Monster Hunter movie in general, and what you think we can expect from this crossover quest. I for one am a little bit salty that we didn't get a Ron Perlman version of the Admiral, but that's okay. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Monster Hunter, Iceborne, and other gaming content. Streams, reviews, builds, and more. Dudes forever, have a good night, and happy hunting.